we're going to have a look at in this video is a slightly different way of configuring your straps on a step-in crampon to make threading and tightening them an awful lot easier. I can't take credit for this technique. It was shown to me by a colleague at Glenmore Lodge uh, an awful lot of years ago. For me at the time, it was a real game changer. It made getting into the crampon much easier and you don't need to be like a black belt in yoga to be able to get round to the, the side of your heel and, and sort the straps out. Before I show you how to do it, I'm going to mention two things. Firstly, we need to be aware that we're adjusting how the manufacturer sends the crampon to us. We're not playing around with any of the mechanics here and here, but we are re-threading the strap in a slightly different way. So it's worth just bearing that in mind if you choose to do it. I don't know why they all don't do it. It is so much simpler than the conventional technique that everybody seems to use, but there we go. The second thing is that we're going to thread the strap in a slightly different way through the heel bail. Now, if you've got an older pair of crampons and you pull the strap out, particularly with gravels, you might well find that because the strap is a bit fatter, if it's a little bit worn, it's very hard to get it back through the heel bail. So if you are going to do this, particularly with gravels, please think about doing it somewhere where you've got access to an outdoor shop and you can go and get yourself a replacement set of straps should you need to. They're fairly cheap and most outdoor retailers will have them in stock. So, you know, you, you can solve that if it is an issue for you. Just think about when you're going to do it. So like the, the morning before a, a big day out in winter, that would not be good because once you pull that strap out, if you can't get it back in, then you're a bit stuffed because you're not going to be able to strap your crampons on anymore. So there you go. You have been warned. <laughs> Uh, this works with all sorts of different types of crampons. It doesn't have to be Gravel. Uh, quite easy to do with the new Petzl crampons because the way the strap goes through the heel bell with them is much more straightforward. You can do it with Black Diamond as well, but again, it's a little bit fiddly, so be careful. Make sure you have got that spare set of straps, perhaps. So what are we actually talking about? Well, let's pause for a second. I'll jump into the boots and I can actually show you how this works. In my big boots, and I've got my crampons here. So this is a conventional one that I haven't changed the system at the back. And this is one that I have changed the strap so that the buckles are at the front. So let's just have a, a look at how different it is. So normally then we would pop the crampon on the floor, open everything out, make sure it's left and, and right. You've got them matched up correctly. I'm going to pop my toe in just as I would normally. Engage the heel bell. Nice positive thwack there. So what I would do now is take the strap, making sure there's no twists. Thread that through. And then this is the, the tricky bit. And I'm just in lightweight trousers here and a, and a thin fleece. I haven't got all my layers on. I've not got my goggles. I've not got my big gloves. But what you need to be able to do is to be able to sort of twist around, find your two loops now <laughs> thread them through like so now top tip with the gravels at this point is actually grab the black strap and pull it to your toe and you will find this separates the rings and makes it much easier to do up but you can see it's just a little bit tricky and then from here i'm going to take the slack out of the strap trap it with my thumb and then try and grab that and pull it towards my big toe like so. Then what I would do with these is before I took them out onto the mountain for their first day out, I'd take the strap down to the ground here and at that point there I would cut it and seal the, the strap so that I've only got a short tail which I can just tuck down the, the inside out of the way so I don't have to manage that. All right, so that's conventional. So let's have a look at the one that I've adjusted. I'll try and do this without putting any holes in the floor. Ooh. Right. You get into it in exactly the same way. Toe in the front. Nice positive engagement with the heel. Now then, what I've done is I've threaded the strap so that the buckles are actually at the front. 
So now everything is right down here where I can see and reach it so much easier. I can find this strap simply. I don't have to worry about twists because they're already taken out with the way that I've threaded it. And then right here, right in front of me, I can thread the buckle like so. Do the same manoeuvre. I'm going to just pull that here, pinch it with my thumb and then put my weight onto my toe and crank that back around to my heel. So you'll notice with the finished article, the buckle is actually in the same place. It, it doesn't affect that in the slightest. It's in exactly the same place, sitting here around the back of my ankle. The release strap here is facing forward. Can be a trip hazard that as you're walking forward, this can catch and release, which is why we talk to people about just tucking the tail down the inside there when you've cut them to size. The other advantage with this technique is the release buckle is facing the other way. So the chances of that happening are, are really small, but I would do the same. I would still take that little strap and just pop it down the front there to safeguard. As far as releasing it, it works in exactly the same way. I'm going to find the black strap and rather than pulling it back here, I'm going to pull it forward and it just comes undone like that. So there we go. Simples. So if you'd like to know how to do this, stay tuned and I'm going to take you through actually adjusting the new pair that I've got so that they're configured in this manner. I'm going to use a flat bladed screwdriver and a small pair of pliers just to help me get the strap back through. With other manufacturers you'll find it can be quite a bit simpler but with the Gravels yeah I'm going to require a little bit of mechanical assistance here just to get that, that tape through. And remember what I said at the start of this video, if you have an old pair of crampons and the strap is even slightly worn or a little bit fat, then this is almost impossible. And you're really gonna have to think about investing in a new strap to achieve this, yeah? Right, let's give it a go then. So pop that one down there. So point of no return, gonna pull that through. There we go. Great. And how do I want it? Well, boot's going to be in there. I want the rings to sit. Now, remember with the Gravels, you want the black tab to be on the bottom and the silver ring to be on the top. So when you're playing around with threading things, just, just check that you have got things orientated the right way. So I'm going to go that way. Like that. All right, so that's that's cool. That's going to be how I want it. Now then, I'm going to think about my boot being in here and the profile of the strap being flat around the boot. So I want to make sure I don't put a twist in. So that's nice, which means it needs to go into the heel bell that way round. So the tricky bit then is pushing this through there. We go that one's not too bad and get that through and if that's stiff just just use the the pliers there to give you a hand pushing the strap through from the outside in isn't too bad with these the tricky bit is getting it from the inside out because the slot is much narrower so all i'm going to do is just use the screwdriver by inserting it into the the gap there and rotating it a little bit it makes it a little bit wider which allows me to push the strap through far enough to then get my pliers onto the end. You can see what's going on. We've got that little bit there, so I can now get the pliers on the end of that. And gently pull that through. There we go. Okay. So now oh, we've got that loaded ready. So if I grab my boot and pop that in, as far 
far as where do you want the rings when when you pull it through once you've cracked it tight you want the rings just to sit back here sort of slightly in front of your ankle bone i think so i find that with the bar tacks on the straps here if you bring those through and just past the toe bail then that works quite well if you've got a longer foot you're going to need a little bit more strap but that's something that's fairly easy for you to to adjust but now we can pop that through the rings same deal pull the black one away and you'll find the the rings part so it's much easier to thread the tail and then pull that round so that looks like that's sitting a little bit too far forward for me so i'm just going to give myself a little bit more through there yeah happy with that and now what i would do is take that strap gently down to the ground giving myself a little bit of leeway here as we said in the previous clip 90 degrees to the rings cut that and seal it and then i'm ready to go so that's that alternative strapping um, you will find it does make a huge difference when it comes to getting in and out of your crampons actually having those rings towards the front it certainly makes everything uh, a lot easier and you don't have to do that contortion to get around here um, and the key thing for me is you can see what you're doing as well rather than trying to do it all sort of blindly in your big gloves so yeah let me know what you think see how you get on